will result in 50% reproduction credit. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. I didn't see you get on. this year. something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. In the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors, I've been proud to share City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. You, citizen, come with me. must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. It's me, Gordon. Barney, from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with Civil Protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. That's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going. Sorry, I'm sincerely a concerned citizen. Thank you. 
find one. Dr. Freeman, I presume. I better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Are you showing up on this day in particular? We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here. Let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Blast that the Where did she get to? Lamar, come out of there! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune uh -oh. time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. <laughs> Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. That's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. 
We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. Cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his cities. What? Oh dear, Beautiful. you're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. Huh. I've got to get back on my ship, but okay. You got rid of that pet. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Here, my pet. Up, up. No, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. <sighs> well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh, dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word. Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed, it is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. This field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to C1 base and LT orbifold, Hilbert inclusive. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Initializing in three, two, one. relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, is it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? It's your freaking head hopper! Get about that! 
that thing. He's coming through, Dad. What's going on with you? I'm not sure. It seems to be some kind of interference. Gordon, stay put. We'll get you out of here. Something is drawing him away. What's the meaning of this? Who are you? How did you get in here? They think it's bad. I'm getting him out of there. You can't just wait in the field. It will peel you apart. Just lost Gordon. What's going on? I wish I knew. I've been countering unexpected interference. Don't worry, Gordon. We'll there he is. The moment I saw, I'm all but certain it was Gordon Freeman. Hey, Gordon! The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it.
Going, friend. That station was raided, but there's others up ahead. I'm gonna stay here in case any others come through. Gotta keep the railway alive. Railroad covering our tracks. Looks like you're gonna be the last one through. Be glad you're not the guy they're looking for. Stand a chance. Calling in every CP unit in City 17. Now they're flooding the areas up ahead with manhats. 
You better get going before they sweep through here. Oh shit! Too late! That was a close call. Thanks for your help. Look, it isn't safe here. Now I'll give you some supplies to keep you going, then you really gotta go. Freeman, aren't you? We got word you were coming. You got here at a bad time. Black Mesa East to Station 6. Do you read? Dr. Freeman is on his way down river. Lend him the airboat and give him all the help you can. Repeat, Gordon Freeman has returned. It is critical he reaches Black Mesa East. Better get going now.
Dr. Freeman, I've been hoping you'd show up. Got this airboat all gassed up and ready to go. It's gonna be tough dodging civil protection out there in the open, but drive hard and you'll make it. You'll find more help up at Station 7. Just a few bends up the river. It's the old red barn. You'd better get going now.
Freeman, aren't you? <laughs> I wouldn't believe it if I couldn't see with my own eyes. Dr. Gordon Freeman himself. We gotta move out before the Combine picks us up. We're just getting ready to pull out. We better hurry. We gotta tear down this camp and get out of here. Greetings to the Freeman. Come on in. I'll show you what you're up against. Here, take a look at this. This here is the dam. It's just up ahead. Eli's hideout is here, a stone's throw from the apron and nestled in the old hydro plant. But getting there, with that hunter chopper on your ass, next to impossible. Good news is, the Vortigaunt's working his magic on your airboat, so you'll have a little more firepower going forward. I think he's just finishing up now. Go on out. There we are. That gun came off one of the same hunter choppers that you're up against. I always like to bring a little irony to a firefight. Take that chopper down, and you should be able to tear on through to Eli's place. The Freeman will accept this weapon, or suffer greatly on the road ahead.
We could certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground in the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your training. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology, something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based, similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they've failed to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement... Oh. <laughs> Listen to me, I sound like a postdoc. I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Where was I? Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined at Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis. Effectively, a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. Oh, here's a Eli now. All right, good. You keep right up. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. You remember my wife, Ozian, don't you? That picture and Alex were all I managed to carry out of Black Mesa. We've almost got that portal working again, but I wouldn't blame you if you didn't volunteer for the next trial run. Dr. Green, he's the administrator of this whole vile business now. He ended the Seven Hours War by managing Earth's surrender. The Combine rewarded him with power. You go ahead, Dr. Freeman. Spend some time with Eli. I'll be back as soon as I catch up on some work. Fine scientist, Judith. She was up for your job at Black Mesa, but you edged her out with your Innsbruck experience. Ah, oh, Gordon. The Vortigaunt said you were here. I can't believe you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh...
take a look at this, Gordon. Watch. The Vorticons relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex? Why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun. The zero-point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh. Let's get out of here. So I see you've met Dr. Mossman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. We used to be able to go right up there to Ravenholm. It was an old mining town inhabited by some escapees from City 17. <sighs> Believe me, that tunnel is sealed for a reason. So, here we are, the scrapyard. This is a gravity gun my father was talking about. You can call it the zero point energy field manipulator if you really want to. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it by. I found it handy for clearing minefields. You can drop it gently by pressing your secondary trigger again. Pick up some stuff and toss it. You can also pull stuff over from a distance. Give it a try. Let me call Dog. He loves to play fetch. Dog! Come! Good doggy. Gordon, this is Dog. 
My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Have a night, boy. Okay, dog, let's play catch with Gordon. You'll need to use the gravity gun. Go ahead, dog. Throw! Throw something bigger. Airlock stuck in a full auto cycle. Is Gordon still with you? He's right here. Good. I want you to. Dad? Take Gordon out of here. Head for the coast. Do not go through rape. Dad? Dad! Damn it! Dog, open the airlock. Get us out of here.
Closer. You've stirred up hell, <laughs> man after my own heart. Here I have a more suitable. You need it. Catch. Good. Now keep him close. My advice to you is.
cart for you, brother. It will be but a moment. Patience, brother. Guard yourself well. time for nothing but the work of salvation. I suspect you have little wish to remain in Ravenholm, so I will show you to the mines. As for me, a shepherd must tend to his flock, especially when they have grown unruly. Follow me, brother, and tread lightly, for this is hallowed ground.
ready while I hold the gate. Patch him up and get him to the back as soon as he's stable. Gordon Freeman. It's incredible you made it. We've been getting communications from Alex. I'll see if I can reach her again. Follow me. It's Leon. We're all clear. And I've got Gordon Freeman. Dr. Freeman, you're kidding. Look, I've been on the line with Alex. Her father's been captured. Over here, Dr. Freeman. Eli Vance is indispensable to the liberation. Alex, it's Leon, and I've got Gordon Freeman with me. Gordon, you made it through Ravenholm. Thank God. I need your help. They've taken my father. He's been taken to Nova Prospect. The Vortigaunts tracked the ship that made off with him and Judith Mossman. While the trains are still running, I'm gonna hitch a ride. Here's where you come in, Gordon. I need you to make your way along the coast until you get to Nova Prospect. It used to be a high security prison, and it's something much worse than that now. But I think it's still easier to sneak in than to break out. You wanted to take the coast road? You won't last five minutes on foot. It's spawning season for the antlions. That's why I called you, Leon. 
I was hoping you still had the scout car we left with you last summer. The one my dad rigged with the towel cannon. Yeah, good idea. Hold on a sec. Norco? Bring the buggy out. Put it on the dock right now. Gordon Freeman will be driving it. Will do. I just finished mounting an ammo crate on the back. Good timing. Okay, Alex, we're all set. <sighs> Thanks, Leon. Gordon, I haven't driven the coast in over a year, but I have no reason to think it's gotten any safer. Meet me in the depot where the trains unload. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in Nova Prospect. Bye for now. Bye, Alex. Okay, Doc, before you hit the road, you might want to grab some med kits, uh, restock on ammo, maybe check the map, see where you're headed. There's an ammo supply crate on the back of the car, if that's any comfort. Stay with the car, make use of the thumpers, you'll stand a fair chance against the ant lions. I'll radio ahead to let the next base know you're coming. Short point to NLO. Short point to NLO. Short point to New Hello, Dr. Freeman. The car's all ready for you. Pop in and I'll lower you down to the beach. Good, here we go. Freeman! Hurry, get in the basement. We're expecting gunships at any moment. Colonel Cubbage will be glad to see you made it. This steerable rocket launcher is our best bet for taking down a gunship. Ah, hello. I'll be right with you. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Using the laser guide, you can steer your rocket past the gunship's defenses and prevent it from shooting down your rocket. This will only anger it at first, but if you can survive long enough to make several direct hits, you'll be rewarded with a prize worthy of any mantelpiece. Now, who's going to be the lucky one to carry it into combat? Ah, yes, Gordon Freeman. I couldn't have asked for a finer volunteer. Colonel Odessa Cubbage, at your service.
some ammo. sir, is well deserved. I shall have someone open the gate for you immediately so that you can drive on. I understand that Dr. Vance is in great need. Use extreme caution when approaching the bridge. Radio silence from that outpost leads me to believe it has come under combined control. Still, you're clearly the right man for the job. You'll make it through if anyone can. Farewell. And please tell Dr. Vance that Colonel Coverage regrets not having been able to rescue him in person. The Freeman must now hurry on. The Eli Vance is held in distress most dire. Is there reason for delay? Good luck in Nova Drive safely, Dr. Freeman. Get your car, Doc. He won't get far on foot.
Stop where you are! Stay on the rocks! Don't step on the sand, it makes the antlions crazy! Laszlo, don't move! No. Help! <laughs> Dear God! Poor Laszlo! The finest mind of his generation! To come to such an end! We were heading for the Vortigaunt camp, hoping to pick up some bug baits of these damn things and leave us alone. But without Laszlo, what's the point? I know you tried to help. I'll stay with him a while. There's something I have to do. Go ahead. I hope you have better luck than we had.
three men must follow. The Freemen will do wise to heed their extraction of the Myrmidon's aromatic pheropods. The process is not entirely hygienic, therefore stand aside. The Freemen will have need of these pheropods on the paths ahead. Gather them now. Must excuse us. It is rude of us to commune by flux shifting in front of those whose vocal inputs are impaired. Yes, we will vocalize in your auditory language as a matter of courtesy. Unless we wish to say unflattering things about you. Just so. <laughs> Prospect is just ahead. One man alone wouldn't stand much chance going in there. But a man with a pack of antlions, well, that's a different story. The free man honors us by his presence. Follow free man. to your therapod to signal the outlines in your command to follow you. The free man shows his excellence in all things. And now this one must bid the free man farewell. Nova Prospect lies just beyond. Remember well what you have learned here. The Eli Vance has greatest confidence in you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Authorization Form Directive 2. Engage Reserve. Contain Exigent Incursion.
Boy, am I glad to see you. We'd better hurry, Gordon. I'm glad you made it here in one piece. My dad's up there somewhere, in that holding area. It's gonna take some doing to get him out. Let's get out of here. I'm afraid I'm flying blind here. Every now and then a Vortigon gets captured and sends back information, but we don't have a complete picture of the place. The little we do know is all bad. Get ready. security system. Now to find my father. Oh my god. These poor people. There. All right, I think I can bring him in. There. He's on the way. Let's go meet him. He should be in here. Let me just get this open. There he is! All right. Let me see if I can get this open. Right? I'm fine, but you? You've got to get out of here. We're here to get you out, Dad. Never mind me. Save yourselves. No, we're not leaving you. I think I can recalibrate the Combine portal to get us out of here. But where will you go? I talked to Dr. Kleiner. His portal was almost working again. If he's managed to repair it, we'll end up there. If he hasn't, well, it couldn't be any worse off. It's not worth the risk, Alex. I can't lose you. Get out while you can. We're not leaving here without you. That's final. We can't leave Judith here either. Don't worry, Dad. We'll find her. For now, I'm going to send you to the teleport chamber. I'm not saying goodbye, Dad. We'll meet you there. I know you will. I'll see you there, baby. Let's get out of here. All right. Over here. I'm gonna head back to the security station and try to patch into your suit radio. Wait till you hear from me. Hey, take care of yourself. Let's see what I can do to clear. 
clear the way for you. Keep an eye out for Mossman. I'll get my dad through the prison as far as I can, then I'll catch up with you. Hold the fort till I get there. 
Sorry it took me so long. Glad to see you're okay. Let's see if we can find Mossman. It looks like this station might give me better access. There she is. Wait a minute. How'd she... It's from your area. I I'm not calling about that. What's she up to? You promised you weren't going to touch Eli. Oh my the God. soldiers were a bit overzealous, I admit, but he was too tempting a prize to simply turn loose, especially in the absence of Gordon Freeman. You would have had Freeman if you'd been patient and just waited for my signal. We weren't entirely sure you were ever going to get around to that, human loyalties being what they are. Dr. Br... As I have stated before, you have to let Eli come around on his own. I you have known just... Dr. Vance far longer than you, my dear. I'm afraid your feelings for him may have blinded you. Feelings? This has nothing to do with feelings. It's a simple truth that when Eli believes this in This is our... not open to debate, Dr. Mossman. Doctor, please. So sorry, Judith. I'm all out of time. Damn her! I don't believe this! Come on, Gordon. Now we've really got to hurry. Go on ahead. I'll disrupt the next level of security and catch up with you when I can.
Sorry to take so long, Gordon. Looks like you could have used some help. I won't leave you again, though. Now let's track down Mossman. Great, another security station. All right, Monson, where are you? Ha. Found her. Ha! Got you now! Uh-oh. Well, come on, Gordon. We don't want to keep her waiting. Talking to me, Gordon. We may need her to get out of here. Hello? Oh, thank God, someone. Alex? Gordon, how did, you, how did you get in here? We know all about you and Brain. What? You've been a spy for the Combine the whole time. W what are you talking about? Damn it! Move back, Mossman. We're coming in. Whatever you may think, I assure you, I have worked to protect your father. Shut up and be glad you're still some use to us. We're going to reconfigure this teleport and get the hell out of here. You see, we're working to the same end. I've already reprogrammed the modulator to emulate a Zen relay. That's my father's work you stole. It's my work, too. And I had to prove to Dr. Breen that your father would be the most valuable member of any research effort going Enough forward. Enough of your here. bullshit! Look, Gordon, there's my dad. I'm going to bring him in. You found Eli? No thanks to you. Just enter the coordinates for Dr. Kleiner's lab and let's get moving. But we need access to the teleport platform and we're locked out. I'll take care of that. Let's get going. I didn't have a fairly good idea of what to expect. I'll bet you did. 
It looks like it's waiting for us. The Combine use a peculiar pulse-forming network with a very long rise time. It takes quite a while to recharge. So you've warmed it up for us. Good. And just in time. Dad, down here! Sorry we took so long. I hope that wasn't too bad for you. Don't worry about me, sweetheart. Judith! I see they set you free! Not exactly. Eli! I was so worried about you. The coordinates, Dr. Mossman. So, this is the Combine portal. It's smaller than I imagined. Hurry up, Mossman! Dr. Kleiner! Yes, Alex. Where are you? We're in Nova Prospect. And we're running the Zen emulation for the first time. Are you ready for us? Ready, willing, and fully enabled. Good. We'll send my dad through first. He's in position for... What's that? Hold on, gotta bring this back down. No, stop! What are you doing? I'm sorry, Alex. It's the only No! Way. Get back! What's going on, dad? Alex? seconds.
My god, we made it. But where's Dr. Kleiner? Dr. Kleiner, let us out! Alex? Gordon? My god, how did you get here? And when? What's wrong? My dear, I... I had given up hope of ever seeing you again. I was afraid we might not make it either. I think the teleport exploded just as we were porting out. Indeed, it did. And the repercussions were felt far and wide, but... That was over a week ago. What do you mean? Gordon and I were just there a minute ago. Fascinating. We seem to have developed a very slow teleport. This suggests an entirely new line of investigation. A week? Then what have we missed? A great deal, my dear. The blow you struck at Nova Prospect was taken as a signal to begin the uprising. But what about my father? Well, that is most troubling. According to the Vortigaunts, he is a prisoner at the Citadel. We've got to get my father out. Barney has been leading a push with that very aim in mind. And another of your friends arrived several days ago. Dog, you made it! Good boy! <laughs> so there, you see? It's not all hopeless. I wish I shared your optimism, Doctor. Doc, come in, are you there? Hey, Doc, are you there? Yes, Barney, and I'm no longer alone. Alex and Gordon have just arrived. Well, man, that's good news. I almost gave you guys up for lost. We're planning to set up a staging area for attack in the Citadel. Gordon and Doc can head your way. I want to get Dr. Kleiner somewhere safer. Then I'll meet up with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Aw, oh, crap! Incoming! Go on, get going! Okay, Gordon, you heard him. I'll catch up with you as soon as I get Dr. Kleiner settled. Just a minute. I can't leave without Lamar. Oh, no. Uh, where did she get to? Go on, Gordon. I'll take care of this. Gordon, take care of yourself out there. Dr. Kleiner, there's really no time. No, no. She's around here. Time too. Dr. 
Dr. Freeman? We're coming with you. With you here, Dr. Freeman, we can finally make some headway. Sure thing, Gordon. <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Let's get moving! Here goes. charges and blow this open. Sorry, Doc. Anything you say, Doc.
suit. safe here anymore. They're shelling the hell out of us. Keep moving, Dr. Freeman. I'll send word you're coming and see you up ahead. I'd find you here. I've got Dr. Kleiner in a safe spot. Now we can join up with Barney. There's a command center downstairs. I'm hoping to find information about generator locations. Ready? Let's go.
This is it. You take that door, I'll take this one. Ready when you are. Well, we're in luck. There's a generator in the square outside. We're trying to disable as many as we can to loosen the Combine's grip on this sector. It'll take me a few minutes to expose the core, then I'll need you to hit it with a burst from the gravity gun. In the meantime, watch my back. We were looking to join you, Dr. Freeman. This'll do nicely. Nice. Let's go.
Dr. Freeman, Barney said you were on the way. We got split up by snipers, and he's pinned down in a warehouse up ahead. Go ahead, he's relying on you. Lead on, Freeman! Hey, it's Freeman! You're not even without me! Barney's Maybe you can help him. Snipers trapped him up on that warehouse roof. He was going for a cache of grenades, but I doubt he can get to them now. Go on, Dr. Freeman. They're still up there. Sniper's got me pinned down. Gordon, lob a couple grenades. That'll clear him out. Quite the returning hero these days, Gordon. Let me get this gate. My civil protection status still gives me limited clearance. Did you hear a cat just now? That damn thing haunts me. Get down! Watch the head hoppers, Gordon! or something like that. Whatever the hell it used to be, now it's a nexus for Overwatch in City 17. It's the main source of pain for this part of town, thanks to a huge suppression device raining down hell from the roof of that place. There it is, the Overwatch nexus. Looks like they're mobilizing big time. You can sort of see the gate from here. I'll show you when we get to street level. We'll have to get in that building to open the gate. Even then, the suppression device will, uh, Suppress anyone coming through unless we shut it down. Then let's go! Help ensure that humanity's trust in you is not misguided. Do what is right. that 
gate I was telling you about. We'll have to come back here after we get it open. If we get it open. First, we gotta get into the Nexus building. You're not gonna hurt that thing from down here, Gordon. We'll have to shut it down from inside. Ships. They'll be coming from the roof. If we want to get through these shields, we'll have to take out the generators one at a time. generators to go.
hoppers against them. Set some traps for the warden. Now, Gordon. Our gate let me just get it open done I'm gonna stay Dr. here Freeman, keep these gates open we'll long enough you. to make a difference go on up and connect the sky bridge we need to let reinforcements come through from every possible direction if any more citizens come through I'll send them up to find you see you when I see you Gordon
Freeman, since you shut off the suppressor and opened the gate, we can really move people through now. The Combine's gonna feel the squeeze. We dropped a crate of rockets coming across the plaza. If you can make it there, you should have everything you need to take down these striders. Follow Freeman! <sighs>
It's a mess out there. This close to the Citadel, they've turned the streets over to Striders. I think we can push them back if we can just get to high ground. We're almost to the Citadel wall, Doc. I don't know how the hell we're gonna breach it, but you've made it this far. I'm sure you'll think of something. We have to get to the horse! Combine!
to free me. Hey, we'll come with you. You better reload. through the plaza, knocking over walls, and I think he's looking for Alex. He seems to have it set in his head that she's in the Citadel. I figured Alex wouldn't want him getting any deeper in trouble, but hell, you try stopping him. you to go through, Gordon. You better hurry. And if you see Dr. Breen, tell him I said... Thank you. 
So, this is Dr. Freeman. At last. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's not here. are partly to blame, of course, my disappointment in Eli Vance and Isaac Kleiner is far greater than my sorrow over your unfortunate choice of career path. In a way, I suppose you could not have done otherwise. Who knows what seeds of iconoclasm they planted when you were young and gullible, but while they certainly share a great part of the responsibility for the recent troubles, it is you alone who have chosen to act in such beautiful regard for humanity's future.
don't struggle, it's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. by vast meteorological intelligences. Worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. intersect. Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide, indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, and then you deliver yourself. If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Alex, honey... Dad. Gordon? No. God damn you, Breen, you let her go. That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or... Will you give your child the chance her mother never had? How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combine portal. Go ahead, Bree. <laughs> if that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. Oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Dr. Freeman? Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. <sighs> Don't struggle, honey. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex, sweetheart. Oh. Judith, what do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Don't... Hurry! Dad, hang on! You fool! Watch out, he's gonna... No! Dad! Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about me, honey. There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman, Judith, look after my father. Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. Girl. Gordon, we haven't known each other very long, but... I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you... Well, thanks for coming after me. Hey, listen. That's him.
There he is. All right, damn it. That's what it takes. Just hurry. He's right behind me. Oh, shit. Damn it. Not again. He doesn't have a clue, does he? I wonder where he's going. Oh my god. This is the Citadel's dark fusion reactor. It powers their tunneling entanglement device. We'll never have a chance like this again. We've got to stop Dr. Breen. can't shut it down. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. You'll have to go into the core and do what you can. Get in the elevator and I'll let you in. Don't forget to charge up your suit. Do your worst, Gordon. But be careful. Dr. Freeman? Is it really that time again? It seems as if you only just arrived. You've done a great deal in a small time span. You've done so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but these are extraordinary times. Hmm? <laughs> Rather than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you. If and when your time comes round again. I do apologize for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition, Dr. Freeman. I trust it will all make sense to you in the course of... Well, I'm really not at liberty to say. In the meantime, this is where I get off.
Lamar? Lamar! Blast that little... Where did she get to? 